without one's dignity, one becomes a puppet to many things. I think it said that it went by too fast that time. Bachelor of Arts. Ah, look. So familiar. <laughs> um. Hi, Mimi face. You better. Oh my god. You're a dumbass. <laughs> you are a you shouldn't have been embarrassed of your culture, man. Oh. That might not fit the tone of the show. It's just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures. It really represents Toronto. You must have a favorite dish your mom made you or something. God damn, man. Some people don't even have a fucking, like, your mom didn't make them lunch. Yeah, I'll check my mother's recipe book. Dumbass. Uh. Okay, if I have to give them a recipe, at least I can do is ensure it's authentic. I can't believe Mama didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India, though. So she went back to India, huh? Well, looks like she's fixed a lot of these recipes. I can't read them all very well, but let's see. Ooh. What the? I remember making this with Mama and Appa. That was fun. Emma fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. I wonder what it was. For one of the features to be in the show, I better cook it once at least. Oh, how helpful. She drew cute pictures and ingredients needed. I'll go pick those up first, then I can start putting it together. Oh. Alright, let's look at the picture. So. You can't read shit. <laughs> we get pictures, just we can't read it. Alright, so. Um. Okay. I assume water.
more water. Mix, mix, mix. That's as much as I'm gonna get, I think. I hope this means it's not forest ready. On to the next thing! Words I can't read. All right. Toast both of the grains first. Nice. Rains, okay. Ah, god damn it. Ah. greens okay cool we did it i can't count the number of times i've woken up to the sound though sorry smelling so good okay oh i can easily read this part next add red leaves and green chilies oh, i must have my words for red green switched around next step add minced and crushed ginger garlic Good. Hmm. First, add blank and then cut water and add water itself. Oh, tomatoes. Frying is going to waste a lot of water. That's what the term of water is for. No idea what this says, but only two greens left. So, add blank and blank to taste and salt this smells really taking me back I'm always upset because of the phone call she got from home probably somebody passed a bit boop boop I think I remember now flashback I'm sorry, Appa. I'm sorry I'm out there. I know. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you more money soon. No, no. It's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. Yeah, my mama's sick. Our mama's sick can't read this part either, but there's not much to this. Just put everything in and cook it, I guess. Alright, so... Water? Say salt. Wee. Nine one 
one. <laughs> Call nine one one. <coughs> I should keep going. Whoa, that looks fantastic. Chicken stock always has a golden color, but the turban is always fancy and it looks extra nice. Oh man, should we even feature this in the show? Some corporations are going to start selling the overpriced after watching this. Okay, okay, last step. We just have to mix these together, I suppose. It's water, but here it's fresh chicken stock instead. Does that take so the chicken soup made from a various spices and latex? Gross. Uh. Waterfall. Ah, that looks great, Ama. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. Looks delicious, for sure. Taking stock. Mama, Mama, why are you sad? It's nothing. Use that her hands. Heh. <laughs> Clean yourself, child. Did I do something wrong? Hmm, oh no, Kana, not at all. I just heard from home. Your grandmother. Mama loves her a lot, but sometimes you'll have to leave and go far away, and Mama will not. We'll just miss her. Why is she leaving? is natural. Everyone leaves someday. Us too. It happens to everyone. I won't leave you, Ama. Or Appa. You liar! You did leave! His fingers. <laughs> a humble prodigy can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one child. Oh. Thank you, Mimba Masu. I told you I'm terrible at this. It's easy. Listen, it's all about temperature control. Dose, dose. First, pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Okay. Next, set the fire to low settings. Okay. Yeah, for you. Another dose. Oh, shit. I forgot to flip. I didn't realize this was a spatula. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. I did it. Good job. I need to try something harder. Yay, we're gonna try something like it was yesterday. Are you ready to try all uh, Dosa will be a bit thicker this time so we can lay all the vegetables. Oh, this is like the pizza one, right? With all the toppings, yes. Not really though. <laughs> Alright, so water. This. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, no, wait, wait. I fucked up already. Ah! Yeah, we fucked up. It's too hot. Yeah, alright, so this. And then. Now the toppings. Do I have to add all of them? Actually, you can just add whatever you like. Okay. You need to add E first. Okay. So I add some onions. I like some carrots. I want to add everything. There we go. Woo. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Yeah. Woo, we did it. Yes, exactly. We're doing mutton here, but you can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. Okay, so water. We turn it down. We put the batter. And then we do those swirls. Good job. Then we start adding the toppings, like. this and then do that Woo! we're just making beautiful things now Another one down. This is fun. Yes, it really is. You could have done this sooner, child. <laughs> You're doing great. You could start your own dosa restaurant when you go back. I know, right? I could probably run the best one. He's wearing his dad's glasses. I just noticed there was restaurants that can serve dosa like this back there. You wouldn't have missed home so much and left home. I mean, I came here for more than just dosa. Oh yeah, of course. I was just joking. Oh. Okay, well, you start eating these, I'll make the rest, and then join you. Oh, no, no, I'll do it. Otherwise, you'll get cold before you can eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you, then? Let me do it this one time, at least. Sure. Uh, they look beautiful. I want it. I want it! Amma, I have something to show you. Our mom's cookbook. This is Alma's recipe book. Have you been using it? Hey, I didn't fix some of these. You fixed those too? And you wrote Tama? This is great. Is this all research for that show you, you're writing? No, Alma. Actually, I quit that job. Oh, why? I... 
I felt like a fraud. I took the job because it was the first place that would hire me. I suppose that Shimmer felt I could offer a Tamil perspective, but I've distanced myself from all of that my entire life. I can't even speak the language fluently. What perspective can I even offer? I acted like being Tamal was inconvenient for me my whole life, but now I'm acting to acting Tamal when it is convenient for me. When there's a job on the line, I can't deal with it. It's true, Alma. I'm just a tourist. And I wasn't there for you after Appa. And every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. You always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you and Appa. It was so sudden. I always thought there would be time to tell him how much he inspires me. Even the stories he made up when I was a child and read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up to him. I knew he died. No. That's not why I came here. You didn't? I came here because that's what's best for me. Even though it hurts me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. People, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving, and I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. It must have been suffocating for you. And after your dad, well, coming back here and teaching all those these kids have been great. If I had stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Alma. How long are you staying for? Forever. <laughs> don't know, Alma. But this is nice. What about you? Do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know, Kana. But this is really nice. It's the ghost mask! Ghost mask. It's gonna wink at us. Wink. Nope, it didn't wink. Design written by Abby. And it's credits! We did it! <laughs> we finished. I do say the music was pretty dang good in this game. I liked it a lot. And I liked the cooking. There wasn't like a lot. I kind of thought there would a little bit be more, a little bit more cooking, interacting stuff. But you know, it's it's a nice little story, a nice little lesson. Um, definitely appreciate you know your family, because. Appreciate who, who you have in life. It doesn't have to be your parents. It doesn't even have to be someone blood related. Whoever is important to you, make sure you appreciate them while you have them because you never know what's going to happen the next day. So, you know, make sure you let them know that you care for them and love them and uh, you appreciate them. They would love to hear that from you. You make sure you make delicious food. There you go. That's another lesson. Make delicious food for them. Tick tock wizard. I did like the dad. I'm sad he passed away, but I, I figured it was gonna happen at the when he got mugged. <laughs> I was like, no, Nimba. All right. All right. Yeah. So. Yep. All right. We did it.